All right, I'm feeling like making a part two here. This one will go out to my my buddy out here, backcountry prepper. I jumped on your live feed last night on the side chat. I was tearing it up, you said. <laughs> but I wanted to do, to uh, do a VR response to your comment. And then you said, why is it that you Texas boys are so calm out there? Why, you know, just your attitude or, you know, you, 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 you try to keep a cool head. For the most part, I, I think, um, you know, for me, I can't speak for Texas Ted, but for me, I try to present what I want you guys to see, and that is a calm, right? not a fired up, in your face, yelling at the camera, and you gotta do this and do that. That's that's not me. You gotta stay calm, man. Keep that blood pressure down. Number one, stay calm. In Texas, it's growing unfortunately not the way we wanted to grow <laughs> you got a lot of people coming here from california man them californians just are flooding texas they just they love the open space but you know and then some of them are making well that's another video but anyway let me just get back to the point you asked or you commented why are you texas boys so calm and it's just it's just the way of life out here in texas I think when you're in a big city, and I'm not saying we don't have big cities because obviously Houston is a monster, Dallas, San Antonio, San Antonio, um, and I'm just calling them out, and Austin, Central Texas. Those four major cities, Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, and Austin, are big cities, right? They're just growing. Prior to, let's go back, you know, I'm 46, so let's go back 26 years. Maybe even before that. When you when you grow up in the state of Texas and you remember it how it used to be, right? And I, I've told this story before. I remember on Sundays as a kid, nobody was on the highway. You went to church, ate breakfast, went to gyms, breakfast restaurant. <laughs> and then you go back home and that's that. Or you just stayed home, right? Nobody was uh, living downtown. You only went downtown on Friday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays, and that was to 6th Street back in the day. Haven't been there in years. Party city capital of the world, rather than live music capital. It's not the live music capital of the world no more, especially with COVID. You went to work downtown Monday through Friday, and that was it. Maybe you saw some people cruising the streets or whatever, but at some point, you remember when the TV used to turn off at midnight and it was like, the black and white after the national anthem and they had the, I think it was the F-15, F-16. It was flying in the sky and the flag was in the background and that was it, right? And everybody went to bed. Stores used to close back then. And I think when you take that element away where you don't have everything ongoing, like 24 hours were open, 24 seven were open, right? When you grow up in an environment where things close at a certain time, eight, nine, ten o'clock, the TVs turn off because you had no cable, right? It was just a couple of channels, that was it. You turn the knob right back in the day. You didn't have the lifestyle that we have now. But when you grew, when you grow up like that, when you when you grew up in that element, and you grew up with core values, the Texas way, Texans, respect. You know, you shake someone's hand. You say hello, you say goodbye, you wave to them, right? It, it, it's a different environment versus people that grew up in L.A. I mean, there's nothing against the L.A. people or Californians. New York, and they come down here like, man, everybody's so nice. Everybody would be nice in your, in your, in your area too. But, and, and that's why I think people are so drawn to Texas is they come here and they're just like, man, people are nice. For the most part, it's changing. People are nice, attitude's great, but they bring their ideology from wherever they came from here. I saw a video yesterday and this guy is coming from California saying, man, everybody's giving me grief and I love Texas, but you guys are assholes. Um, I don't know why people are like this and blah, blah, blah. But I think that what happens is they forget that you bring your, your ideology from 
there here and you want to make how you lived over there here and that doesn't work and the people that do that they don't they don't see their own reckoning right it's like people that come from another country here and even though this country was built up on immigrants it's not the same type of immigrants back then it's a different mindset and people that come here come with that ideology of however i lived over there from the from the country that i left to escape to have a better life here i want to bring that here well you're just bringing that mess here now instead of saying hey i want to confine to the way these people live here because it seems like a better lifestyle you would think okay i'm gonna go move to the native community i'm gonna go move to a reservation because i like the native americans and i want to live like that you think if I bring my way of living from the city or American lifestyle to the native, you think that's going to set well? No, is it? <laughs> it's the same. It's the same principle. But people, people don't see it like that. They don't see their own reckoning. So, back to what you were saying, and I'll end this. When you grow up in Texas, and I know people are going to say, "Oh my God, he's just foolish." No, it, it's just, it's a different culture here. And I think that's why people move here. I never hear people saying, oh, I'm going to New York City. I'm going to LA. I'm going to Chicago. Nobody from Texas in their right mind, unless you're going for like a super duper, you know, high salary job in the big city. New York. Nobody from Texas that grew up good here, that loves it here is going to go to to move to Chicago nothing against the Chicagoans but nobody does that I mean I, it, it doesn't even run in my mind oh I'm gonna go move to LA to California because I want to be near the beach I can go to Corpus I can go to South Padre I can go to Port Aransas if I want to see mountains I can go out to West Texas and see those no interest so you ask why us Texans are so calm it's the lifestyle down here man I'm not saying it's the greatest, the best, but to us, this is our home. We're proud of it. We're proud Texans. Any Texan, I mean native, which is someone like me, Texas Tech, anyone that is a native Texan thinks the way that we do, that represents the state, is a proud Texan. I, I'm a proud Texan. I think of me as a Texan first than I do an American. I know that Texas is a new part of the United States. I'm not an idiot. I, I get that. But when you have that much pride, you tell me what, what in Texas, you're going to see Texas flags everywhere, right? We're just proud Texas. You don't see that in other states. Nobody flies a California bear flag on them in their front. Who does that? Does, do you see New York's uh, put hang flags outside their little apartments? No. Chicago's is no it, it's Texas is its own country period that's all I got to say all right adios